Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I am still just hoping that this mic setup is gonna work. I think it's been fine. Anyway, um, we were, it's been a while since I've played, but we were in the middle of doing the Geth incursions, I remember, and then once that's done, I get to do a whole lot of running around and recording, except it'll all be silent unless there's cool stuff. I wish there's a lot. We haven't explored even like half this galaxy, I think. Uh, pretty sure we did this one. Here. Let me land, just to be sure. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, the hotel is loud, and I am quiet. Alas, such is the world we live in. I need the map. Yes, it looks like we have been here. I assume I wouldn't have zoomed into a planet just to, just to be like, nah. Oh, I just got a bunch of my days off. I got, I got one this month, I got one next month. I'll be taking, cause my place apparently, what am I doing? I want to stay in here. Um, the place I'm working for gives you what's it called Thanksgiving off but not the day after Thanksgiving and I'm like if you expect people to come in on a Friday after Thanksgiving you're out of your mind anyway frozen service is this the planet that like has like a re it might have a renegade only like Krogan warlord fort you can only get into if you're doing a renegade quest maybe Anyway, we'll look around for stuff. Eh. Well, not let me scan it. Now it's not even letting me travel to it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Have I? Oh, maybe I've already been here. I may have already been on this this system. I'm so sorry if that's the case. I'll uh, maybe edit this out while I figure it out. Surveyors found. The oh, this is the cool stuff. Surveyors found the ruins of a technical civilization near the equator. I must said Equator. I don't know why. And then the colony of an ancient spacefaring race. The ruins had subsided. I'm sorry. The ruins had subsided to almost nothing. Merely wind hollowed husks of archaeologies and other mega structures. In the center of the ruins was a single column whose inscriptions defied translation for several centuries. When Asari linguists finally managed translation, the elaborate relief carving said merely, Walk among these works and know our greatness. The crude sketches, uh, scratches on the base of the reverse side said, Monsters from the Id. Is it? Oh, that's... Well, I know it's like, I think I already have all the Asari stuff too, so this sucks. Um, but no, it's obvious, like, I don't know, obviously, or I don't know, I'm making it sound stupid now, but, you know, the only thing that survived, survived is the monument that merely says, walk among our works and know our greatness, right? Like, the situational irony is not lost there. <laughs> and, like, it would be a very interesting moment to, like, realize that this society puts so much weight on its, like, you know, its architectural marvels and stuff, and, like, probably had a conquering mindset and, like, expected, like, peoples to be coming through from other places, marveling at them, their own selves, marveling at their greatness, and then all that's left is merely the pillar that says, look upon this great work in marvel, you know? I don't know. And the system marks so many thousand years ago was trapped in a decaying, I'm trying, decaying orbit around Rhaenyra. Rain Greed. 
Oh shoot, not the safe place to be. Within a few hundred years, the planets rip each other apart. Some Asari travel consortiums have already announced sponsorship of cruises to observe the spectacle. There's a couple places like this, actually, where the Asari are the only one who there's like a couple planets that are gonna like fall apart, essentially. Or like react, you know, in such a way. Um, it's cool. Like to think of like their, you know, long, this is a pretty peach planet. When the Krogan rebellions ended three millennia ago, the Turian chief of naval operations, a distinguished soldier named Mercury, just declared his immediate retirement. He disappeared into what was then uncharted territory. It was only 200 years later that his ship was found on the surface of Precious Lodge's moon. It had landed gently and been deliberately shut down. Of Admiral Mercury, however, no trace was ever found. Interesting. Was there a guilt or... I don't know, an oath that was taken. Pushed up from the desert core by cry cryovolcanic activity. This planet's very green for a planet so far away. It's trace, atmosphere, methane, and ethane. The shells of temporary dwellings blasted by frigate patrols dot the surface. Always the pirates turn to ground. Gross. They freaking are nasty people. Some species of terminus pirate drills with the ice crust to recover this, recover this natural alcohol. Yikes! Light metal. Excellent. Who's here? This is, and or should be, our final geth planet. I need to take out... I think I need to take out Garrus... Caden, I think, for the achievement. And also, well, nothing else. Caden has neural shock, which I need to use. What well, put me like right on the edge? Um. This is on a freaking mountain. This is in a freaking valley. The closer I get to the ma Oh, holy cow, look at that. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Hold up. That's just... Like it's like disappearing. That planet looks like it's disappearing. I don't think it actually is. I don't think we read about a planet that's actually disappearing right now. But it looks like it is amidst the dust haze. Aha, I knew it. The closer we get to the mountains, the closer we will be to minerals. There's people outside celebrating. I don't know, not celebrating. They're just partying. So I'm really hoping they can't hear me. <laughs> I did, I had my window cracked slightly so that I'm. Um, I could thread an extension cord out and like turn on my Halloween lights and then I was like I'm gonna undo that. I almost kept it because I was like oh it's fine but I can hear them pretty well from up here. So that means they can they can hear me calm down. Okay so I actually went back and I picked up Tally instead because this is the final get thing. So she should she should probably be here for that. Okay, so <laughs> we drive up and the map calls it an overrun overrun research outpost. Which to me, this looks like Gath. I don't know if it's or not yet. Well, it looks like Gath, but it looks mostly like husks. 
which can sometimes just be human hubris. Also, I'm saving because I took the long way around and I don't know what the easy way here is. <laughs> did not I did not bring a squad for this. Let's see if we can snipe them. On my way. Take them out. No, I told you guys to stay back here. Okay, there has to be more. There has to be more. Why are there people? It is. It's not that late. I'm like, it's 7 o'clock at night. People are in the pool. People are smoking weed next door. People, people are yelling. I'm talking quietly, at least. Yeah, you're joking. Oh my gosh, it, it opened the door behind us too? It's a good thing my teammates know what they're doing. Oh, you're stuck. Savant Biotic Amp. Oh, I think I just picked up an armor? I don't know. Anyway, what's going on here? Are there more in the room we were just in? Oh, we can finally get better armor for Garrus. Excellent. Okay, looks I like we've... Trouble. Yeah, we've unlocked. I knew it was too easy to get in. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's right. Oh. Also, freaking, at this point, I might have to end it soon. The weekend might be better for this sort of thing.
Also, my friend has spent many, many an hour trying to convince me that um, pistols are better than shotguns. And I was like, no, but I think I might have to agree with her. Couldn't find my gun again, that's cool. the pistol better than a shotgun. Hmm? Hold on. Why is the pistol better? I'm very upset about this. Remember this now, but it oh, it happens. I think does it? it mm, I don't know if this happens always now or only if. Oh my gosh! Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Goodbye. Can't fire again. That's cool. No. <gasps> no. I thought I saw my little corner way
Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside the There's star a cluster. fifth cluster. It must be a or fifth. The primary yeah. We can use the signal to lock on to its location and take them out. That's why I was like, it feels a little weird, like at the beginning of this episode, which was 43 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, according to my timetable. Also, why does this keep sliding? Also, it's not... It's not broken. Okay, there we go. <laughs> they started out damage that you can't just jump in the Mako and destroy them all. Which is not something that happens before, so I'm not sure why they do that now. But Anyway, there is another Geth base hidden away. In a fifth uh, not a cluster, a mm, system. I'm gonna run to this really quick and see what's over there, because heck if I know how long this episode is. Everybody's so loud tonight, it's only Wednesday. Three minerals on this planet, nice. That is only four more League Medallions. And only two more Turian ones. Excellent. In the Grissom. Oh, that's um that's some deep lore. Um well there's the Grissom Academy too. Um, but Grissom oh shoot, who is he? He was a really important guy. He was a very important admiral. Yes, he was a very important admiral who like hated like doing social things I remember um but he's he actually like his I think him and his story features a little bit more in the novels only read the first three the last one doesn't count because it wasn't written by Drew Carption it was written by somebody who just writes fan fiction novels for a living essentially that are based off of IPs that like literally this person just writes things that are based off of that are like within IPs, but like, are not canon. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna call this one here because it's getting a little frustrating with how loud it is outside. <laughs> um, and also dying so much. I swear I'm playing on easy mode in Mass Effect 2. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. I was so distracted by the sounds that were coming from the pool and all the screaming and yelling and talking everyone was doing that I forgot to say thank you to my patrons. So really quick, I want to say thank you to all my patrons, but especially to Scalamonger, 
uh, who is my first sapling patron. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to Reese Galito, who was my second sapling patron. Thank you as well. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier sapling, and whom is the greatest. Whom I still think that meme's hilarious. Anyway, it's very late. Everybody sleep well, or have a good day, or whatever. <laughs> So thank you again for watching and sorry for the lack of videos lately. It's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a week. So I'll try to do better going forward, but thank you again to my patrons. I appreciate you guys a lot.